Hello, 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 people. I am here with a new game, and I have a friend with me. Hello. Yes. You do not want to introduce yourself or anything? Not, not in this, sh like, TV show's universe. No, I don't. Oh, boy. Although I suppose they will find out eventually that I am Steve. Yes. In fact, they might have just found it out as someone spoke your name. Excellent. We are playing 24 the game because me and Steve have been watching the series. It was his idea. Uh, yeah, I... One day I just think, you know, 24 is a mainstream show that I've not watched any of ever. And I thought, you know, that's the start of, like, the global war on terror, so that's gonna age really poorly. And not really. Like, the main thing I think about the show is that it's just poorly written. Yeah, it's, uh... Quite ridiculous. I mean, first episode, Jack goes and shoots his direct superior with a tranquilizer gun. <laughs> Yeah, and then, for whatever reason, no grudges. Yes. And then, then they just work together. Um, but I'm, yeah, the... Sorry. Yeah, I mean, he, a couple of episodes later, he does come and put the base in lockdown and that, to detain Jack, but he just punches out another agent and leaves. Uh, that's gonna fix things. Yes, but so this so, takes place between the second and third seasons. Oh, the painful second season. Yeah, I am not sure how much any of that is going to factor into the story, so let's see. Yeah, this is going to be a train wreck, is, is going to be my guess, but let's see. Just my test, so actually, uh, that's a long test. Yes. <laughs> Wait, how long? I. Oh, right. I think that's the in-game time, like 6 a.m. and some. Because <laughs> I, I was just thinking, wow, six hours. That's that's commitment. I, I wouldn't be surprised if the entire game would be shorter than that. Ash. Anyway, let's -a go. Yes, I am aware. Saving. Also, the emulator is popping up. Notifications, not sure. I think I'm sure it'll huh? work out. The when trademark is bothering me. Mm. The following takes place between 6 a.m. and 7 a.m. What? No events are progressing in real time? I can understand why they would drop that, because for a video game, that's just... Uh, that, that would be dicey this to coordinate. I have two armed guards patrolling the above decks. I don't know how. Oh no, checks are beta mail. But I want each and every position called. There's illegal armed shipments aboard, and, and he's doing the tanker mission from Hitman Contract. People being on the defensive. If they even find out we're in the area, they'll blow the holds and release the toxin into the water system. Are we clear? We copy you, beta leader. So. Beta leader, they've got the ship rigged. We tripped the switch. Damn it. We're heading in. We need to get on board and stop the detonation of the rice and cargo. Maintain positions. We cannot afford to make any mistakes. Let's go. Mm. Mm. They're going to put ricin in the seawater? Oh, no. That's what all humans drink. We need to get inside the ship. Spread out and take it slow. Here Team in position. The game. I thought to sub me a bit how... Upward still, the, the, the default view is, and it automatically resets to it. Right, checking the settings, didn't find anything that would keep it from setting. And now it's lower for 
reason. It's the good old days before we had over the shoulder a third person view that's actually usable. Hmm. Hmm. Graphics are decent enough considering it's on the PS2. I'd, I'd say this is uh, mm. similar ish in quality to the getaway. Health mm. mode. Although I don't think in this you can uh, regain health Checking by income. leaning against the wall for a bit. In position. <laughs> it is remarkable how many gunshot wounds you can heal from just leaning over the wall for mm. five seconds. Hostile spotted. L1. Mm. Mm. Fire. Hostile down. All clear. Move forward. Mm. So we can search the body and also search the body. Tag 17 pistol, which I'm sure is not going to be a lawyer friendly version of a Glock. I am also somewhat impressed by the fact that they bother to get his Doors likeness for this. Also, some slight graphics glitching Driving on the charge. sleeves there. <laughs> if it keeps going, they'll be wearing clown wigs by the end of this. Hostile spotted. <laughs> Great. <laughs> we all just... That's a similar AI to Fallout 4. I'm pretty sure they they would train you not to run in the middle of another a person's firing line. Not in Fallout 4, that's for sure, because that's all they seem to be doing. But Okay, house a model. Okay, that's an Uzi. I, I have some concerns about the Israeli gun being named after or being changed to a German one. Move up. I'm sure it's nothing. Ooh, also I'll oh, spot it. Damn it. <clears throat> Taking cover. Hey, uh In that instance I'd rather question the AI's Hostile down. Choices. Yeah, that's like two hoodlums just waltzing in through the door, sees the three, like, four SWAT members, and just decides, you know what, yeah, let's let's tilt the gun to the side and just keep mm, rolling oh, in. So there. I was not referring more to the friendly AI just going there and clustering around the enemy instead of taking cover or anything. Also, something... Yeah, they didn't <coughs> cover themselves in glory either. Something I noticed when testing this out. Oh. Ooh... Oh man, even better than Metal Gear Solid 2. Ooh. Check out those right, physics. Slightly impressive. Also, the same button to use to search the body. If you hold it down, you can track the body. <laughs> and it pushes physics objects around. Hmm. Okay, so prediction time. I'm wondering how much of this is going to be there beyond the very early portion where we're still in the high effort section of the game. And also a shotgun. It's three rounds. Oh, body armor. Yeah, that's the SPAS 12 in real life, I think. Is it? No. This is a bit dark. No, that isn't. Mm. And it's in this timeline, it was invented by the gray aliens. Move up. Oh. Mm. Okay, Jack's. The, the directions that Jack down. keeps looking is distracting. Hostile down. Following your lead, sir. Nice work, Crowley. Textbook entry. Yes, thank you. I tried to do the thing of flicking the. Clicking the stick to the side to switch the target, but I don't know, maybe I wasn't flicking it vigorously enough. Jack had a personal preference as to which enemy he wanted to take out first. 
Cover. Mm. Yeah, that was that was the here. style at the yes, time. Mm. Must be going fairly well with, even if you aren't using cover all the time. Uh, compromise with the AI, I'm sure. Mm. It really is strange to me the way that Jack's like, head tilting works. Oh. Hostile down. Oh. Okay. I was not aware th the enemies could r surrender. Following your lead. Huh. Well, just gotta respect their civil rights. Okay. Mm. Uh. Press X to pay restraint. Thought. Oops. Okay, I, okay. Th I thought that was... Okay, so... Okay, that's the same button as for using cover, I... Uh, uh, it's not great when the control okay. scheme is already, like, disintegrating in okay. the tutorial. I was tapping restraint for a couple of times and that did it. Okay, a restraint quick time event. Excellent. Mm. I also love how nobody is like telling Jack off or just knocking <laughs> a suspect out uh, who had already surrendered. Oh, he was doing something suspicious. Of course. At the very least, Jack could have yelled out, tell me where the bomb is. Oh. Can't help but notice that Jack is also not wearing a gas mask like everyone else. Nah. One of the forward cargo no need to be clear about who the main character is. Like in the Adeptus Astartes. Of course. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, let's see. Can I keep... Oh, whoops. Well, uh, we're not going to be interrogating those guys. Well, we already had one. Hostile down. We already had one. Yeah, that's difficult trying to wrench the aim away from the auto aim to aim at the explosives. Oh, well, you know how it is. Jack isn't big on following procedure. Hmm. Uh, this this particular aim mode looks like Time Splitters 2 aiming, which, as much as I love that game, that the aiming was not great. So, uh, Jack switched automatically to the M16, right? That's an option I should probably. Ah, ah hello. Ah. Yep. I'm trying to. Where is the shooting coming from? You bastards! Oh. Uh. It's nice of them to attack CTU. one at a time. CTU. Right. Federal agent. CTU. Oh, what well, Jack? Ryson is released. Could be any minute. We've got to keep moving. Yeah, actually, I was wondering about that uh, button to call call out to enemies, but I guess I now know it does actually have some kind of function. I can't help but wonder if there was an earlier version of this game where the clock sound would be oh, playing uh, every single time countdown. that the countdown is. Also, uh, something I uh, missed the first time around and still kind of missed now. CTU. Was that uh... CTU. the 
game keeps also. Uh, this M16 has a surprisingly low sound. Down. I'm just seeing these controls and thinking, man, I'm glad I'm not playing this. Eh. you. I think it's. Hostile down. I think it Love controls way, reasonably sir. well. Hmm. Just button to climb or clamber, as I believe the game called it. Well, it's no thief two. Which sadly means we don't get the stellar voice acting. Mm. Can I? Hmm? Uh -uh. Okay. Okay. <laughs> ah, I guess not. Jack's still recovering from the heart attack that he had. I guess so. Also, I have no idea if this game has any kind of hidden optional collectibles or anything like that. Oh. Oops. I'm not sure if I accidentally shot a friendly there. Wouldn't be the first time. For Jack and we have a bomb squad on their way. They're following you in. I copy. Um, bomb squads following us in. Ah, do you think they should take point? They're all dead, sir. Not necessarily, but I feel like they the ship's original don't have much time. They must have been killed when the ship was taken over. Ooh. Up there, it's the bomb! Excuse me, I'll just uh, see if they can take... I guess none of them have anything useful. Following your lead, sir. Yes, we yes. should go up there to the bomb, I hope. Time doesn't run out. Uh, great. Okay. Ooh. I have eighty-one percent. Okay. Oh, you can view. You can view stats. Uh, <clears throat> Ooh. Surrendered enemies shot. Whoops. Um, maybe the Ryzen shot them. Uh, but hey, I didn't actually kill a teammate. Good job. Uh. You'll be promoted. Hooray. Uh, oh, story so far. Uh, illegal alarm shipment, Ryzen. So that's your briefing that they give you? I guess so. Well, the briefing you get afterwards? Sure, why not? Hey. Can you defuse this? If not, I need to know right now. I can defuse it. What do you need from me? Nothing. Once I set up, we'll be good to go. CTU, O'Brien. Chloe. I've been given a job by car. Do you think they're on to you? No. No, if they were on to me, I'd be dead by now. These guys don't mess around. Whatever they're working on is something big, and I need to get to the bottom of it. Jack, what's your status? How much longer? I'm starting now. Stand by. Starting bomb defusal. Okay. Uh-huh. What could go wrong? Also, why is Jack doing this? Um, no clue. Okay, nope. CPU cubes linked by color data paths. What are CPU cubes? Uh, I'll just save a state. <sighs> uh, next slide. Find a route through the bump circuit. To each of yellow CPU cubes. Use your route. 
Uh -huh. You cannot stay on a blue cube for long. That's good advice for life. Hmm. With this type of bomb, it should be a case of following the master signal back through its relay paths and shorting out the trigger circuitry. Hmm. It's incredibly distressing to me that you have three waypoints in this bomb defusal. Okay, so I... Hmm. Okay. So, we go there. Only one way we can go from... There and Okay, that's the first stage. Ooh, multiple stages. Let's see. So if I go here, there and there. Just one more. Mm. Okay. It seems simple. If you want your friends to live, you must solve my maze. Ooh. Oh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Fine, sure, be like that game. You got a B rating. Alpha Team Leader, we have defused the detonator. Copy that. Sending in hazmat to take care of the payload. Do you have any eyes on the arms shipments? Negative. Nothing here but empty gun containers. Looks like the ship's already been offloaded. Oh. Put the guns away. I said put the guns away. Those are the blueprints you wanted. Now let's talk about where I stand in this organization. We'll tell you where you stand, and if you don't like it, you- I can what? I've been running errands for you for the past year and a half, and I've got nothing to show for it. Now, unless I start being cut in, I walk. I know how doing these pissant jobs kills you. I know you want more. You're gonna get more. A buddy of ours, a guy by the name of Ricky Roberts, is gonna be pulling a small hit for us later today. He got together with a group of people, and they've proven to be pretty resourceful. I heard Ricky Roberts moved out west. He did. The hit's going down in L.A. So who pissed you off so much that you've hired some surfer boy convert to kill him? The following takes place between 7 a.m. and 8 a.m. This time, an hour takes only 20 minutes. Excellent. Does that mean you're one twenty-fourth of the way through the game? I want this taken back to CTU. Uh, I imagine so. Dessler. Michelle, I'm sending you a PDA that looks like it's encrypted. I need to know what's on it. I'll put Sean on it as soon as it arrives. This is too sensitive for a rookie. I want someone else on it. I trained Sean. He can do this. And Vice President Prescott will be in Los Angeles for the next three days, whereby he hopes some resolution... Ah, oh, the Vice President. He had life choices in the, the second season. Toxin, but the arms shipments, they're missing. Tried to depose we the president and wasn't we'll even fired for it. Up the missing weapons. There's nothing more we can do about it right now. Tony, there's something else. We found the entire crew dead in one of the cargo holds. Any idea who gave CTU the tip on raiding the cargo ship? No. All we know is that it was called in from a payphone about four blocks from Los Angeles Harbor. Why? What are you thinking? That this isn't over. A CTU O'Brien. Planning on assassinating the vice president. Why aren't you calling me on your cell? This line could be tapped. No, I don't have a choice. The bunker I'm in blocks cell signals. Now listen to me. The vice president's in Los Angeles, and they're planning on having him assassinated sometime today. When? I don't know. You need to connect me to Los Angeles CTU. Okay, hold on. Chase, you're on with LA CTU. This is Tony Almeida, special agent in charge. Agent Almeida, my name's Agent Chase Edmonds, DC CTU. Now, I've just gotten word that there'll be an assassination attempt on the Vice President later today. I need details if we're gonna move forward on this. Well, I don't have many details. All I can say is that a man by the name of Ricky Roberts is involved. He's from D.C., recently moved to Los Angeles. Sean? Already on it. Ricky Roberts. Bauer. Jack, we've gotten word from D.C. CTU. 
There's gonna be an assassination attempt on the vice president sometime today. You don't know when? No, but we have an address of someone involved. It's not far from your current position. I'm uploading his information to you right now. Robert Daniels? Apparently he's relatively new to LA, but his connections stem from DC. I'm on my way, I'll let you know what I find. I have Agent Edmonds. Agent Edmonds? What did you find out? We found an address. We have our lead field agent checking it out now. Thanks, we'll let you know how it goes. Take care of this. Wait a minute, that's it? You'll let me know how it goes? Yeah. It's in our hands now. Chloe, are you still there? I need a flight to Los Angeles. You can't do that. Sonia will never agree to it. I'm going around, Sonia. Chase, the phone line's being tapped. <gasps> Damn it! You need to get out of there. I'll send a chopper. Give me 20 minutes to lock down the base and take everyone out. Are you crazy? You need to wait for backup. 20 minutes, Chloe. Remember how in the first season assassination assassination plan on a presidential candidate was enough crisis to last the whole season? Yeah, that was a long time ago. Mm -hmm. And then in season two, they start out, yeah, we're gonna nuke Los Angeles. And here it's all oh, in the first, well, quote unquote episode. It's. Oh, rice, rice in going. I think it says two kilograms of rice in. Looking for Chase. Which is very bad if you're putting it into a confined space, like, oh, I don't know, a subway. But if you're putting it in the seawater, you're gonna have some dead fish. Oh dear. Ooh. Hi. Oh, you can turn the alarm off. That's. Yeah, that means no one's gonna come looking to see what the commotion was. Also. In the cutscene, the one guy was helpfully identified as DC terrorist leader. Just, you know, the leader of all terrorists in DC. Well, you know how it is. If you put two terrorist leaders from DC in a cage, eventually the one will kill the other. They're very territorial, you see. I feel like sometimes when you turn around rapidly, his head spins in one direction and his his head like spins in the opposite and does a 360 degree turn. Hmm. I'll have to be on the watch for that. Hmm. And it's just like we we may have to operate under the assumption that this isn't a human. Hmm. Ooh. <laughs> Yeah. A thingy. I was gonna call it an iPad. That reminds me, just the the little computer that Jack had in his car. It looked to me like it was, you know, using the DOS operating system, which not a great system for when you're having to operate it while driving. Ah, what's the worst that could happen? You might mistype. Oh no. Okay. Yeah. Was there oh. DOS with spell check? Uh I am not aware of it. Huh? Hopefully some clever people in the comments will let us know. Okay, that was an interesting death sound. This is a huge fucking cleaning closet. Like, I have lived in an apartment that was smaller than that room. Oh good, split screen. Yes, in case we missed the big yellow arrow pointing at it. 
I'm kind of impressed that this guy is able to rip what is essentially a metal payphone out of the wall. Okay, that's demonic possession. He was standing up for for like a frame there. Mm, I'm not sure why that wasn't the um reticle wasn't highlighted in yellow. Hmm. I guess it's I don't know. A distance beyond optimum accuracy or something. You know, that's actually something that makes sense, if that is the case. You know, it might help if he actually unfolded and used the buttstock. Oh, uh, that reminds me of... I think it was like Turning Point Fall of Liberty, where it's... Um, there was this gun nut I saw playing that game, and uh, he was very quickly able to deduce that they had access to the weapons, but they clearly didn't fire them, because many of them were specifically configured so that they would be safe and unable to fire. What even is this place? That was a terrorist nest. All terrorists live in nests of this type. Ah, at the bottom of what looks like a missile silo or something. I'm that is very strange, because like I, I don't imagine there's many missile silos within Washington, D.C. Yes. Except for the one that's hidden inside the Washington Monument. <laughs> uh, I, I was picturing, like, um, having to, like, build missile silos into skyscrapers in like Manhattan. Whoops. Could call it a Manhattan project. Take this. Oh, thank you for informing me that you are, I guess, throwing a grenade. Yeah, I kind of prefer more functional dialogue like him calling out fire in the hole or grenade or something. Mm. Oh. Another phone that Detective Halligan will not be able to use. Five minutes to breach the alert. Five minutes to what? Five to breach the alert or something. Oh. I, I know what the words mean, but they make no sense to me in, in that sentence. Okay, a bit of graphical glitching again. Well, that's just the clown makeup, is what I'm going to call that. <clears throat> Interesting that they afflicted different body parts. <laughs> and now it's the railing. Yeah. Oh well. Oh. Yeah, this is looking. It's uh, it's because of the dampness. It's a result of the lack of a silo door. So it's just very moldy. Purple uh, sector. Well, fortunately, I see no purple here. Okay, so it seems like the turning, the turning speed is horrendous. Yeah, it seems like the you know flick to switch next target only works if the target is in view already, which. Kind of seems like it then nullifies a good bit of usefulness of that. Also, I'm thinking that the <laughs> colored sectors is like the lower half of the wall. Mm. 
um, okay. I didn't exa exactly expect the secure door to swing so easily. For those who haven't seen the TV show, when they try to trace a phone in the first season, they say, yeah, it's going to take 20, 30 minutes. Mm. Seems like the terrorists here have better tech than that. Which has interesting implications. Ah, good old video game shotguns. Oh. Neat. AK-47s for everyone! Yay! Also, yeah, that... 762, I'm pretty sure that's the 47 that uses it. Yeah, uh, you know, pretty obvious, but... This gun is supposed to be... AZ-7. Hey. So I guess... This is an even faster way to shut down a nuclear reactor. So, what exactly would be a way to shut down a nuclear reactor? Oh, the Soviet shutdown button is AZ-5. Ah. <laughs> but you have AZ-7, which is even better. Excellent. That or it turns on the ice-making machine, I'm not sure. The more of this facility we see, the less I understand what it is. Really odd to me that the all the barriers are physics objects. Mm. Like, mm, uh, mm, mm. Okay, so can I? Oh, you can shoot through your own cover. I guess so. Uh... <sighs> <coughs> So I have a target named Target with a K. He's trained in Mortal Kombat then. Uh, it's just, just the way the cover system mm -hmm. and the camera angles don't work. I'm I'm loving this. I I love watching games that don't work. Well. I'm happy to uh, provide. No doubt I'll have to pay for this entertainment by having to watch Star Wars with you later. Oh no. I'm, I'm not a Star Wars fan, but... Uh, he does like Andor. Yeah, because that's the least Star Wars of the lot. I think it's a dire situation when when that's a compelling sales pitch. Hey. So it's, this is a nuclear silo in DC and also a shipping container like warehouse. Uh maybe. Now we have fragile cardboard boxes. Well, I mean, when it comes to bullet, that makes much more sense than sturdy cardboard boxes. What, what was that uh, white plastic tub back there? Because oh. I, I, I was fairly sure I saw ice cream or something. Um, Up this. Uh, emulsion? Oh, that's... I know that word, that's when you... 
have something that helps mix things mm. together, like... So, like, soap can help you mix water and oil? Something like that. Yeah, it's... Absolutely crucial for a nuclear silo to have emulsifying uh, agents. Yeah, like, emulsion is like... A liquid suspended in other liquid... Something. Okay, that's interesting. Um, we're, we're finding ones that have like a full outfit of camo and not just upper or lower camo. Mm -hmm. And the guy in full camo is the only person who hears like the gunfire and the alarm and thinks, man, there's no way for me to tell what's going on there. Idea what it means when it when the aiming reticle goes red. Oh, well, that was an excellent life choice he made. Yeah, we've got cover shooting mechanics. I'm not gonna use those. I'm gonna go out there and give him a piece of my mind. I, I can't help but just mentally compare this to Metal Gear Solid 2, which was out by the time this came out, I'm fairly sure. Uh -huh. I thought you could do something like that, though the physics isn't... Chase. Lockdown, deactivation in. Just doing my job, boss. I should have trusted target. Oh. Okay, I'm uh son of a bitch. Right. Would be nice if you had a wall uh, to lean against. You lying bastard. Okay. Not all the name of the items is not able to be on screen fully. Okay. So again, about this little facility of theirs, um, do they use gas stoves? If not, why do they have so much compressed gas in, in canisters here? I do not know. I get the feeling that's going to be a recurring phrase with this. Do not even know the words of Karas. Hey, go back. Do the mirrors work in this game? Ooh, uh, there are no mirrors. <laughs> I'm, I'm guessing that's a no then. Okay. Um. Okay. Uh, oh. Um. Hmm. Oof. Okay. I need to get back. To the entrance within 30 seconds. Let's see, can I make it? Make it till you make it. Surely seems reasonably doable. Too bad the ad break can't help you fast travel quicker. Not very good stats. Oh, well. Do do high stats uh, help give you anything? I have no idea. Oh, also, <sighs> enemy surrender. Unsurrendered enemy. I completely missed that. But uh, well, I think we probably has been enough for one video. So. Well, it has been interesting, lots of questions, just not about the story. <laughs> yeah.